Tonight, some Jewish tax collectors asked Peter if he and Jesus paid the two drachma tax. <laughs> what in the world does this mean? Well, it's been said that there's only two things certain in life, and that's death and taxes, and that's just as true in Jesus' day as today. Now, the Romans collected their own taxes for Caesar and the Roman Empire, but there is actually another tax, or maybe it's better to call it an offering, but, you know, a mandatory offering, where adult Jewish males uh, give half of a Jewish shekel towards the maintenance of the temple. It's based upon Exodus 30, 13, which reads, Each one who crosses over to those already counted is to give a half shekel according to the sanctuary shekel, which weighs 20 geras. This half shekel is an offering to the Lord. So here in Matthew 17, the tax collectors are not the unpatriotic thieves who work for the Jewish enemy, the Romans, but rather they're actually very patriotic men who collect for the Jewish temple. And they are calling this two drachma tax because a drachma is a type of coin from Alexandria. Now, I've heard some commentators say that, hey, since it's supposed to be a Hebrew shekel, that they would not possibly have used a pagan coin to support the temple. Mm. I don't know. Other commentators reference examples where Jewish tax collectors use Gentile coins because of its universal acceptance and also because, you know, of the value of a finely minted coin. Here you go, Homer. Thanks, Mo. Ah, Homer, you know your money's no good here. Hey, wait a minute. This is real money. Two drachmas were equal to two Roman denarii, which was about two days wages, which was equal to one half of a Jewish shekel, which was the required tax to pay the temple tax. Jesus makes some really cool theological statements about how he does not have to pay the tax simply because he's the king's son, but he does it anyways to not cause offense. So he asked Peter to catch a fish, and he said then he will find a full Jewish shekel to pay the tax, which is exactly enough for two people, for Jesus and Peter. Now fast forward a few years, in AD 70, the Romans destroyed the Jewish temple, but Rome continued the temple tax on the Jews, except this time, it just simply went straight to the Roman government. I'm sure they really appreciated that. So there you go, a little bit about the two drachma tax, and that's enough today for our historical minute.